All right, first stop, Antique Gallery. Whoa, look at this. Pretty, that's a good idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. It's very cool. One day Monique's gonna have a setup like this when we get a house. So Monique's gonna restock her booth. And then after this, we're gonna go to the toy booth and put some more goodies in there. Somebody's getting up in the Nerf game. Oh, there's a lot more figures here now. Oh, oh, this guy totally left. The toy guy totally left right here. We got new people right here. Um, this is a really nice mall. I wish the toys did great here, so I'd move over here. Oh, Sam Hain. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um... Oh, the Metallica one. Pretty cool. Alright. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, they always do that. That's fine the way it is right there. It's loose. Oh, it is? Yeah. You can just slide it back in the box. I'll do it if you want. Alright, we're gonna situate the area and then we'll be back i found some more poison ivies little mini figs right here there's two the thing is that they're bootleg i don't know if monique is into the the bootleg poison ivies um i think she as far as lego goes i think she has one or two bootleg ones but yeah these are these superheroes line uh you can get these from china they're like they're pretty cheap you get like a handful of them for like 10 bucks or something like that that last i checked it was a couple years ago now i'm not sure but they make all the bootleg uh minifigs i don't know if all these are bootleg or just some of them but i know that poison lady is for sure because she has like a like a little design across her chest like it's a tattoo or something there's another one over here actually that one's different yeah. No, you know what? It's just painted differently. No, it's the same. Same thing. But, um, if you ever want to check your minifigures, every piece of it has Lego printed on it, if it's legit. Like, the feet, the body, and the head will have somewhere on it that says Lego. Um... It'll be like the on the tabs like inside or something like that. It'll say Lego somewhere on each piece So you can check them that way, but yeah, I know for sure probably most of these are probably bootleg But we'll see if she's into These bootlegs are not I don't know how much they are. Oh up there four dollars a piece Excuse me, ma'am. I know you're really busy, but I had a question for you. Are you into bootleg Poison Ivy minifigures? Cause <laughs> I, I, I do have some bootleg. Yeah, I think you do. But I found like four of them over there. But they're the same design. Uh -huh. But I know it's a bootleg for sure. Okay. I'll show them to you after you're done. Okay. How's it going? Doing all right? A whole yeah, new just, bags. It's hot in here. It's like hard to it see. is hot in here. Hot new bags right here. By the way, my next booth is an antique gallery of Louisville. So if you're ever in the area, stop by, check it out. Pick yourself something up. A nice little bag. Uh, some Tupperware. Some sweet Wilton pans. <laughs> or perhaps one of these frozen bags that's handmade by Monique. By yours truly. Yours truly has made it. We got some uh, G.I. Joe. Some Intellivision games. DuckTales, uh, what is that thing called? Lunch pill. <laughs> and this Wolverine, like every, all the pops that I put in here sold right away. This guy is just not moving. What is the price on him? Maybe I gotta drop the price. Oh, $13. I think I definitely got to drop the price on that guy. Right. Some of the older bags. All right. See you in a little bit.
check out this drum set. It's all like DC characters. It's a Pearl drum set. Go check it out. Check out the rap on this. This is pretty cool. Flash, Dark Side, Joker. We got the Tom Toms over here. Superman. There goes Batman right there. That's pretty awesome. That is cool. Once I have space, this is something I want to get to. Is a uh, is a drum set. I really want to get a drum set again. It's just so much fun to play and just relaxing, de-stressing. So awesome. Look in there. Go the bootleg. See him? Bootleg person there. Yeah, there's like four in there. Well, I see this one. Yeah, there's one to the left of you, one behind it. Why did they put her skirt as a like as a vest? Oh, is that what that <laughs> it's is? It's supposed to be a skirt. Yeah. Well, that one, that one. Oh, they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. I like that sexy version from that Lego movie or whatever. Uh huh. That Lego Batman. Yeah, but they're bootleg for sure. Is it open now? Yeah, it's open. Uh-oh, when he broke it. <laughs> yes. Damn books. Yeah, the bootleg because of that one Batman right there in front has the the marking there like the you can order them from China. Really? Yeah. And, like you get like eight of them for like ten bucks. What? Interesting. Oh and the helmet doesn't even go on. <laughs> Oh, okay, there you go. And they look pretty good. But once you feel them, you can tell the difference between an actual Lego. Lighter, yeah. yeah. And then I found something else magical that you'll like. Yeah, right here. See that? Ooh, oh, that's pretty. How much is that? Like $76 only, $75. Because oh, this is $75, this one's 64 Oh, but it's like a whole set. Yeah, well, is it the whole set? Yeah, because it's different. Yeah, like, but still, it's like lemon cup and saucer, sixty-five dollars. Orange cup and saucer, saucer, seventy-four. Yeah, but it's a whole set. Yeah, those are pretty. Say so you only need the strawberry one. <laughs> Ding, what is it? Emerald City. Wait. Oh, I thought maybe is that the brand? No, that's the name of the stand right here. Oh, it's F R A N Z. That's the brand. Friends. All right, let's get out of here. Hey guys, uh, real quick, I wanted to shout out a channel. The channel name is Dummy Records and Thrift. They are a fun channel. I really enjoy their channel, and I really look forward to uh, their videos. I think they upload once a week. I think. They, they, they recently did like twice a week or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I always look forward to their channels. They pick, they, it's a young couple. They uh, pick up a lot of 90s items. They do resell, but they don't really get into the reselling side of their business. But it's still fun to see their hauls. They pick up plush. They pick up shirts. Pretty much anything that has to do with the 90s. Um, and they also do a lot of uh, vinyl. So it's a cool channel. I recommend them if you, if you like 90s stuff or hauls, uh, that, that type of deal. And they're 50 subscribers away from a, hitting 1,000. So that'd be cool. I'd like to see them hit 1,000 subs. Uh, so go over there and check them out and uh, sub to them. And if you do, let them know I sent you. Uh, their link will be in the channel description. Fun channel. You won't regret it. All right, how about we get into some what sold. First item we have going out here is this Charlie Brown mug. Uh, I've had it for a while. <clears throat> And uh, this mug sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And remember the bobbleheads, the wrestling bobbleheads? Here goes the Steve Austin one, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, he sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And we picked him up at the bins, this guy along with the Undertaker uh, bobblehead. We got some plush going out. We got this little vintage gorilla here with a... He's sucking down on an ice cream cone. 
<laughs> and uh, he sold for ten dollars plus shipping another plush going out we got one of these raising canes um plush here they, these tend, tend to sell not for a lot of money but they sell pretty quick uh this one here sold for eight dollars plus shipping so every time i see these i pick them up uh and they have some like i think there's like a home alone uh version one too that one sells pretty quick but yeah eight dollars plus shipping and they're tiny especially if you pick them up at the bins you know eight dollars all day long we got a build a bear mickey all right mickey mini so mini build a bear here she has her little bow on top uh goes the print on the bottom mini mouse uh this one sold for 18 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping and we got a little robin action figure from batman and robin uh, the animated series, this guy right here sold for $9 uh, plus shipping. And the last item going out is this bear right here. Uh, build a bear. Bear. This guy was pretty cool. Does he do anything? No, I don't think he does. He sold for $16.99 plus shipping. And that's it. That's what sold yesterday. All right, so this one we just organized. That was it. Uh, there's going to be a parking lot sale this weekend, so looking forward to that. Hopefully some of these figures, some of these figures clear out. Because I've been taking some of them home and putting them on eBay. Hopefully this Thomas stuff goes away. Uh, but yeah, we got some stuff here. Just organized. Um, I've been pricing these figures here. Uh, like at $2, $3, this stuff is moving. My die cast is always moving. I had more hot wheels so i don't know maybe we're gonna turn this into a die cast booth <laughs> just a big table full of die cast um because again i find this stuff at the at the bins uh and it's it moves often it moves often and books and stuff have been moving uh we've been finding some fun books the pokemon one that big pokemon one sold right away oh, cool. um uh, you know what there's a hot wheels one in here that i have mm -hmm. I think I have. I think I already sold. It was a. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take that. Actually, let's take that with us. Because I'm doing a little Hot Wheels learning right now. So let's take that book with us before it sells. Uh, yeah, so we moved some stuff from over there, over here, some stuff from over here, over there. Try to switch it up so people aren't seeing the same things over and over. Um, all right, let's go look at our, at our Nerf booth really quick. And then we got pay, we got pay. The Nerf booth, like I said, we're gonna go away with it. Monique's bringing her stuff. We got some blankets. Yeah. And this cool. Like baby blankets. This one is a star. Right? This cool display we found it at the bins. Yeah. That was cool. Monique was like, "Wow!" Yeah, I was like super excited to find it. Some ladies were like looking at me like, "Yeah." And I brought the Cranky, the Barbie dollhouse, and this bat cave right here. Um, so hopefully they sell with this. Uh, hopefully more stuff sells with the car sale, with the parking lot sale, which was actually last weekend. I forgot all about it. But she said because of the rain, they postponed it to this weekend, which is good because we bought, brought bigger stuff yeah, and these blankets. It was like a huge thunderstorm. It was crazy. Yeah. So we're good. All, com all done with the booths. booths. So let's get out of here. Some of you have uh, been interested in seeing what it is I collect. And I got all of this stuff right here. Semi-organized. But we're going to start right here with the smallest things. Uh, Monique found this tray at uh, the bins. And uh, she got two, so she gave me one. And I've been wanting one to put up some little some little small stuff here. So this is where we're going to start. This is where we're going to start right here. This is kind of like a random thing. Uh, just any cool little thing I find. I bring it home so I can put it on my shelf. Or something that you send, like Hillary. Sent these cool little cars here and this motorcycle. Um, I thought these were really cool. I like the, the uh, what is it called? The little uh, paint app on there. It reminds me of like Transformers. In the cool little Hot Wheels motorcycle. So let's go, let's go through what I have on here real quick. Random stuff, and this is probably something that's going to just change 
gonna change he's gonna switch it out and switch it out as i find stuff got a little mighty max uh one of these little mini heads uh, i wish i could find a mighty max for that hope to find one at the bins one day uh this is random little frankenstein like head thing that goes into a light like the little light cover thing snake mountain this skeletor came in this blind bag blind box type toy here and then we got this cool thing uh, I was showing you this you uh, this to you guys at um, the mini mall it's like a it's, a, it's this is a this one a Power Rangers one I don't remember um, but it, you can play a game on it there's buttons here and the screens right there you see it's on right now so I know there's more so it would be cool to get some more of them to put up there Let's move down here to the Ghost Taz, the Flash Ghost Flash Taz. Uh, so this is a McDonald's toy. I found the suit, but I didn't find the Taz at the bins. So hopefully one day I can find them uh, to pop them in there because this was my favorite one from this line right here. Got a little flashlight here. This came in one of the bags the other day. You guys saw it. I thought it was cool. So it comes in handy at night. Um, here we go. Two diecasts here. These are old Matchbox cars. Uh, I bought these because I was I wanted to start learning how to restore Matchbox and diecast, but these are from England. They're made by Lesney, and these are from I don't remember the year on these. But these are old though. But then I was like I got them and I thought they were cool the way the war they were the way they were, so I didn't want to uh, mess with them too much. I can't even see the little engine in there. So I think that's cool. Maybe, maybe once I get good at restoring them, I'll try it out uh, on these cars here. But I don't want to let these be the first ones because I don't want to mess them up. Little pumpkin here that came with a Michael Myers toy. Sold the Michael Myers, Michael Myers toy a while ago, but I forgot that I had this pumpkin and I recently found it. So I put it in there. And there's a the, uh, flattened penny. Souvenir from the Alamo when I went we went to the Alamo uh, this last November Batman Skeletor little mystery machine hot wheel here fit perfectly in that box there is No Space for that thing anymore, but we got it in there. That looks cool a little uh, Lego Mario piece here We could turn it on So, if you guys haven't played with these, they're pretty cool. Go to sleep. The Grave Digger uh, little micro Hot Wheel that I found the other day in that blind bag. And then these three vintage early 80s McDonald's toys. These are so cool. Uh, so I put these in there. We got an 87 Road Champ, which was like kind of like a... Was it like a knockoff micro machine? But these have more of like a, a uh, what would you call it? Like a monster truck style with the big wheels and the raised body. And we got this little guy who I found at the bins not that long ago. So yeah, so we got more space for other little goodies that I find. And like I said, this will be rotating. It will be rotating. Different things will be coming through here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. This is where we're going to start. So we went to Denton Thrift and we got some goodies. We're gonna show you what we picked up. Uh, I found this little Shopkins case. It's like a little display case. And it looks like you can hang it on the wall also. It has like the logos on the sides and like little designs and things. And it opens like this. You slide it down. Whoa, you slide this part down. And then it has like these little shelves with these little pegs and then you can put the little Shopkins on there because they have a little opening because they're meant to be pencil toppers. But you can play with them as toys. So is this where you're going to put your collection? This is where I'm going to put my <laughs> collection. <laughs> um, I found some plush and a cool toy. I'll save the toy for the end and I'll go through the plush first. Um, First guy I got is the, this Dallas uh, Stars mascot, and I'm keeping an eye on little 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 sports mascots like this because they've been selling pretty, pretty quick for me. Not for high dollar, 
but like eight nine bucks plus shipping and this one's a nice he's a he's a nice one because I, I i've been selling these pretty quick but like i said just eight or nine bucks but they flip really fast at least that's been my, my experience recently um and then i found a couple of build bears this one's just a pink one uh nothing special just pink this one was a dollar 91 so just pink eyes pink nose pink everything no theme to it so it's pink eye pink yeah pink eye that's the <laughs> theme he has pink eye pink eye bear then i found this uh best friends forever bear Aww. never seen this one so it has print on the bottom of the feet little like flower thingy on the chest Mm -hmm. He's a cool color. Turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Turquoise. This one was um, two ninety two. So that was a cool one. There was more, but I left the other ones behind because they were like some that I already have tons of. Uh, and then we have this one. This one I've never seen before. Another build a bear. This one has clothes on it. It's all pink and white. But this one is uh, breast, cancer? breast cancer awareness bear. So I figured I've never seen this one before. And this one's kind of like... Oh, it it's like sparkly. Yeah, it looks fancier. It has yeah. like sparkles to it. Um, this one's a little bit heavier. It's probably better stuff. Does that's it why. have anything on the chest? No, it doesn't. That's what oh. I was looking for. So that one was cool. So I've never seen that one. So This one was four ninety four. I paid up for it. But uh, I just wanted to see what, what this bear... Uh, I love oh, you. There you go. I love you. Oh, that's a big old like... That's like almost the size of a foot. A big ol' uh... I love you! Voice I box. love you! Uh, so yeah, so we got that one. And then... I found... Oh, she has antennas. This female okay. stitch? Yeah! I think she has like a little antenna. See that? Wee -wee. So it's pretty cool. I, just, I actually walked by it like three times and then... Fourth time I went by and I was like, wait, what's that? I kind of saw like the eye. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, that's Stitch. She even has like eyelashes, huh? But she's not from the movie, right? She's from... I don't know. I've only seen the first Lilo and Stitch. I don't know if there's a second one. I think there is, and I think that's where she comes cartoon. out. I don't know. But again, this is a character you don't see often. At least I don't. I mean, I barely see Stitch. And anytime I do see Stitch, I pick him up. Mm -hmm. And so, never seen this one, so I picked him up. Uh, picked her up. This one was four bucks, and it's a Disney store brand so i figured this should be a good one should she's be a really nice cute one. and clean yeah she's cool <laughs> and then i picked me up a toy paid five dollars for it and this is vintage uh let's see to say who made it i don't know who made it gabriel industries with gabriel toys well disney it's a walt disney production gabriel industries 1976 i know there was a gabriel toys back in the day uh, but i don't know if they made this kind of toy check it out He's like in a little sailboat. Yeah, it's Donald Duck in like a little boat. And uh, it just kind of bobbles. And there's like a chime in there. Yeah. It's cute. So paid $5 for it. Um, yeah, I thought it was cool. Pretty sweet, man. I was like, I saw it from across the way. I was like, better go get it. So another one. Just paid for it. See, we'll try it. We'll see how we see what, how it does. And if it sells, you guys will see it on what sold segment. Bam! I forgot to tell you guys this was four ninety four, so like five bucks. So that five dollar investment is gonna turn into a million dollar oh, investment yeah. with Monique's Shopkins collection. Totally, man. <laughs> um, but that's it, guys. That's it for this video. It's a little booth action, a little bit of thrifting, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Just the the booth when we go to the booth, man, it's tiring. Yeah. Yeah, where's you out? You drive down, and we are probably Monique's booth is probably about is about 20 minutes away. My booth is 40 minutes away, so we got to do like a a big old circle. Uh, that's a once a week thing, and it, yeah. it, it like where's you out? Because <laughs> you got to carry this and organize and blah blah. And then we we're picking up checks, so you got to sign papers. You, you know, you got to go to the bank. Got to go to the bank. Um, but yeah, but it's done. So. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. Put on your 3D glasses so you can see this real quick. <laughs>
<laughs> 3D action. 3D action. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Tell us hello. <laughs> Tell <All right>. us hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I think you're losing it. It's delirious. <laughs> I just woke up from an <laughs> awesome nap. I woke up and I was like, I was such, I woke up, I was like, I don't know, what, what is it, what is it right now? It's one of those naps where you wake up and you think it's the following morning. Those are fantastic. But then you're like, you're like, how long did I sleep? What's going on? What, what happened? Um, yeah, so, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. Bye.